and Congresswoman Stefanik joins us now with more. You really do, you expose something that it was a moment that you don't see often in, in Congress. Three college presidents, three of the most prestigious universities that gave the most appalling answer when you were asking a simple question about, you know, anti-Semitism. Um, I'm surprised it took the, the charge of plagiarism to make this happen. What's your take? My take, Sean, is there is a reason that the testimony of the presidents of Harvard, Penn, and MIT made history as the most viewed testimony ever, with over one billion views. And that's because their testimony was morally bankrupt and pathetic. My question was very simple. It was a moral question. Does calling for the genocide of Jews con ruin your school's code of conduct? Does it go against your school's code of conduct? And every single one said it depended upon the context. We know it does not depend on the context. It should be condemned. It is not that difficult to say that, yet all three failed abysmally, and the world saw it. It is unacceptable that it took Harvard a month to demand the resignation of Claudine Gay. Penn made the right decision immediately, but this is after it was forced in front of the world to see. And I believe these university presidents sit atop these institutions that have rotted out and have institutionalized anti-Semitism, particularly after Hamas's terrorist attack against Israel in early October. We've seen Jewish students assaulted, physically harassed, and facing just vile, vile, vile attacks every single day. Well, let me ask you this. If, if, if it didn't violate the code of, contact, uh, code of conduct, and it depends on context, would they apply that standard? Would they have answered the question the same way if it was clearly something said that was racist, uh, misogynist, xenophobic, transphobic? Would, 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 they give, would they have given you the same answer? I suspect the answer is no. They wouldn't say, well, it depends on the context. They would not have... Sh <laughs> They would not have, Sean, and that's why it was so pathetic, and it was so clear for everyone who saw that how wrong that testimony was. And I will tell you, what you can't see in the video that has now been viewed over one billion times is there were Jewish students from each of those universities who were at that congressional hearing. And as I was listening to their responses to my question, the university presidents, Jewish students, you could see them shaking just of the abysmal lack of moral leadership. and then. And on top of this, you've seen just the shredding of academic integrity in Harvard's case, where it was very clear with this intense scrutiny that Claudine Gay was a plagiarist president, that she had plagiarized nearly 50 excerpts in her work, which is a very limited body of academic work when compared to other Harvard University presidents. And I say this as a Harvard graduate. Uh, I graduated from there from undergrad with honors. And I will tell you, students, if you plagiarized, you're expelled. All right. Congresswoman, take a bow. I think that was one of the best, um, best moments that I've ever witnessed in terms of a congressman or woman uh, out there, you know, being able to uh, literally stump college university presidents on what was a layup question. Uh, and they deserve to get fired. Two down, one to go, in my opinion. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.